Hi, my name is Charles and I'm one of the maths teachers from the Maxim Workshop. I'm just going to now teach you how to do some math. Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to calculate um, kilowatt hours. Kilowatt hours is a measure of energy, okay? So within the actual units you do find the, ver the word kilowatt. Now, um, it's important not to associate this with power as um, power is um, a measurement of just kilowatts or watts. Now, energy is basically um, power times time. So, if you look at the um, units of kilowatt hours, you find that you have your power here, which is just kilowatts, or and you have your time um, measurement here with hours, okay? So, um, a classic case where you might want to calculate your kilowatt hours is when you consider um, the power rating on your kettle, okay? Now, you will have um, three particular um, variables um, noted on your kettle. Now, if you just look at the bottom of your kettle, you'll see um, that you have the watts, which will probably be something like um, 18 watts, 18, 1800 watts, and you'll have voltage reading um, equal to, say, something like 220 volts. And then you have a frequency reading equal to, say, something like 40 hertz. Now, when you are calculating kilowatt hours, it's important to also know that these two are irrelevant. They're just numbers that are there just to um, relate to other factors um, um, of your um, kettle. So that might just be the amount of electricity that might, um, or the, the maximum amount of electricity that might um, flow through the circuit. And that's more so to do with the voltage. So the important thing to realize is your watts, okay? Now, if you were given a particular question where it says that um, the kettle is always used um, for two hours a day, you might want to say then, um, what is the kilowatt usage, kilowatt hour usage per day? And that's simple. The first thing you would need to do is take your power reading, which is um, 1800 or 1800 watts, and change that into kilowatts, okay? So the first thing we do then is divide this thing by a thousand, okay? So the decimal point is here. Again, a thousand looks like that. So three zeros. So all you have to do is just make three jumps to the left, and that will give us 1.8 kilowatts okay now um, the next thing you'd want to do again is look at how much um, usage in terms of hours you have for your kettle so if the kettle runs two hours all you need to do is multiply this time reading by your power reading to give you energy. So energy in kilowatt hours now is basically a multiplication of this by this. So you would have 1.8 times 2 kilowatt hours. And that's basically just 3.6 kWh. And that's how to calculate kilowatt hours.